Let's create a one new JavaFX FXML application project. I'm using JDK 1.8. Um, I'm going to cover JavaFX scroll pane. I'm going to use the same set of the uh, image. Copy paste to your project uh, package. So we have a uh, cheese, jam, jelly, um, strawberry pancake image. I'm going to copy paste uh, package name in front of uh, FXML documents. Open FXML documents. Here I'm going to remove uh, the previous example. Let's look for a uh, scroll pane. Just a large anchor pane. Let me uh, copy paste uh, image view. First one I'm going to add cheese. Second one on the same. All these images on the same package. Okay. Same. Thank you again, Strawberry. So this is a default setting for scroll pane. As you can see, you the horizontal and particular scroll bars. On the scroll pane, uh, there's a panel, and then uh, horizontal policy and vertical policy. So if you click panel, you can move your mouse, uh, then press hold. You can move the screen. That's what the panel does. Let's look at here. PCL level. You don't see a horizontal uh, scroll bar now, so uh, it's not going to be easy to browse. That's what the uh, horizontal policy does. Same thing here. Now you don't see particular scroll bar as well. So by default, it's good like to use as needed. Um, let me put one label. LBL score. So when you press each button, it's going to show us um, uh, different numbers. So let me uh, name it. FXID for cheese is a uh, image cheese. That's a gem, so image gem, and so on. Strawberry.
celý. A zvoní z Pancake. Let's go back to first one. I'm, com I'm going to use uh, on mask click. Handle cheese. Next one is handle jam. You can continue, okay? And this strawberry. Just uh, name your event handler. Next one, call it as a handle jelly. Last one is uh, handle pancake. So we don't use that anymore, so remove it. So we have a FX ID called ABL score. Uh, there is a uh, Typo, I think. So let me change to um, LBL score typo. Save it, make controller. So we have a correct spelling, okay? LBL score. I'm going to set text number one. Again, uh, it has to be string value. Okay, fine. Clean and build. Um, seems okay. That one we don't use it anymore. So that's okay. Everything seems okay. Clean and build, run it. So when you click change, numbers change. Uh, scroll pane, behavior is same. Okay, we have a horizontal bar. Sorry, a vertical bar. Scroll bar is there. Pen is working. Now we can have a particle bar. Of course, the pen is still working. For the uh, behavior of uh, scroll pane, you can do coding manually, say PSP, scroll pane, property here, panable, uh, even though I say 
is true here we can change manually sp set penable we can change to uh, false just look at the description here using sim builder we say uh, true but you can change to uh, false by programming then it will is going to follow your codings now the pen is pen uh, is doesn't it doesn't work okay so you can change back to true or you can comment it out and then make sure it's on so pretty much the same as uh, same builder use default then it may be not necessary to do coding here Okay, let me make a minor change so that we can make it as a game. We can store uh, score. So when you click um, the first one, cheese, we can add number one. In other words, we're given a score number one. So we change to uh, score, that is uh, integer value, so we change to string, value of int, everything else is exactly the same, just depends on the uh, score plus equal to 2 and 3 and 4 and 5, okay? Paste it. This is a uh, score three. So when you click the um, fruits on the, on your screen. It's going to add uh, additional score between 1 to 5. Pretty uh, straightforward, simple game. So just start it. 1 and so on. Numbers keep going up. Okay. I think that's all. Thank you.